Imagine with me living in a world in complete darkness. No sunshine, no sunrises, no sunset, no moon, even at night to guide you. Imagine the only light you have is by the string of light bulbs um, throughout the street, and they keep going out. Um, today I'm going to tell you about one of my favorite books called The City of Ember. And it was published in 2003 by Jean Duprow. And it's this sci-fi fantasy adventure book um, about this post-apocalyptic world and this girl named Lena Mayfleet and her life here in this city. And the city was originally created um, for its inhabitants to survive for the next 200 years. And they had enough supplies and a generator and all the things that they would need to survive for 200 years. And the original, as they're called, the builders of this um, city created instructions for what to do after 200 years in this city because the supplies um, wouldn't be lasting much longer. And these instructions were put in a locked box for the mayor to keep track of. And only the mayor knew about them. And the mayor was supposed to pass them on to the next mayor and that mayor to the next mayor and so on and so forth. Um, and now two centuries later, this box is in the hands of a mayor who is terminally ill. And he's trying desperately to break into this box to figure out what the instructions are. And he fails. He doesn't get into the box. And then he passes away. And the box is lost and forgotten and no one knows of it. And no one knows of these instructions they were supposed to get. And uh, fast forward, Ember has been around for 241 years. And as you can imagine, supplies are starting to run low. And these lights that they've strung up, which run on a hydroelectric generator, this generator isn't working at 100% anymore. It's kind of starting to decay and fall apart and they're constantly trying to get it to, to keep up with the needs of their society. And the lights are flickering and at times there's blackouts and no one can see anything. I mean, imagine not being able to see your own hand in front of your face because it's so dark. Hence, Lena Mayfleet, a young adolescent girl in this city of Ember who is searching for some answers and Dune Harrow Another um, young teenager who notices that there's some things wrong in this society and things aren't working like they used to, but no one else seems to be worried about it. And everyone else says everything is fine. Um, and I won't tell you what happens because I want you to read it and I want you to be excited about it and see the questions that these um, teenagers are, are finding and the answers they're searching for and the things that they realize um, when no one else will listen to them. So um, there's a theme in this book of of really just not accepting what others tell you to be true and finding the answers for yourself. And um, the book has won a few awards. It was a 2003 Child Magazine's Best Children's Book, um, as well as winning the Kirkus Editor's Choice Award and the Mark Twain Award in 2006, and was on the um, American Library Association's most noticeable, most notable book list. So a favorite of mine and a favorite of many others. Um, I encourage you to read it. Like I said, appropriate for all ages. Um, and just follow the adventure that these kids go on and the um, answers that they find. The City of Ember, Jean Duprow. Highly, highly recommend.